I'm meteorologist Ben Crosby. It is Monday, January 30th, and welcome to the Weather Show. Going to be talking about the weather, but first I want to say thank you to all the well wishes and prayers uh, due to the loss of my grandfather. I was out of town last week, back in town, and boy, it is still cold, as you know. It is still very, very cold because of all the snowpack that's still on the ground, and this epic winter continues with more snow in the forecast. Going to do things a little different tonight from the weather show. We're going to go to the old weather computer. I found that that looks a little clearer, so bear with me as I do some um, maneuvering here of the camera to get you into the picture. It's a little clearer than that monitor I was using a while ago. First of all, out and about today, this is the weather picture of the day from our friends over at Adams Elementary School in Boise. Yep. We're done studying the winter. Bring on spring. I think everybody is kind of feeling that way. It is chilly outside, and I think we all agree with you, the all-stars at Adams Elementary School. Low pressure in control out over the Pacific. You can't miss that big storm. Here's Boise right in through there. Notice this low pressure system with a veil of clouds kind of fanning across the region. One thing that's happening in the atmosphere are the upper level winds are coming around and then converging over the northwest. And that, in the higher elevations, helps form high pressure at the surface. I painted on some winds here, and thanks to our friends at the National Weather Service, these upper level winds coming in and around counterclockwise, as they do in the northern hemisphere around low pressure. And then notice these winds kind of fanning out. And then we're seeing winds come on in from the north here and back across Salt Lake City. And because of this jet stream that's coming on in from the north, that's going to trap or keep the cold air in place. As a matter of fact, there's a battle. Arctic air kind of swinging on in across the Pacific Northwest. And then this storm system out in the Pacific moving on in. And that's going to bring some snow our way. A little piece is first going to break off uh, and combined. Uh, with the storm system coming out of the north tomorrow. And periodically, we'll see periods of snow showers on and off uh, from tomorrow in through Wednesday. But that rodent day, the evil groundhog, that's right, Groundhog's Day on Thursday, that's where I think it's going to get real interesting as there's a lot of cold air still pooled back across southwest Idaho, especially in the west end of the valley. I think as some of this moisture moves on in, we are going to get some snow and some accumulations, especially from Meridian on to the west. And so let's check out the Security Gold and Silver Exchange snow forecast. Security Gold and Silver Exchange located on State Street in Boise, just east of Veterans Memorial Parkway. Stop by, say hi to James and Wes, and get a silver dollar today. All right, here's your Treasure Valley snow index or forecast. This is from noon Tuesday to noon Wednesday, and I think this is across all the Treasure Valley. Not a whole lot of precipitation with these snow showers, so only going for a dusting to maybe two inches in spots where the heavier bands of snow develop. However, I think going on in to Thursday, though, that's where things get a little interesting. So from the Treasure Valley meridian on west, Back towards, uh, say, the Idaho-Oregon border, Napa Caldwell. Two to five inches of snow will come on through between 10 a.m. and 8 p.m. on Thursday. So it could be a snowy day for Meridian on west in the Treasure Valley. From Meridian over to Boise, I think we'll get the dusting to two inches as bands of snow will move on through. Some areas may pick up close to two inches, maybe a little bit more in some pockets, uh, mainly in western Ada County, maybe back up towards Eagle, just what you don't want to hear. So going on in towards Groundhog's Day, that evil rodent, uh, we'll get some snow. And that's it for the Weather Show with Vin Crosby. Be sure to check out the Weather Show with Vin Crosby on YouTube and bridalweather.com. Tell your friends and family. Remember, we do have that GoFundMe page. Thank you for all those who have donated. Trying to get a new laptop here and uh, some new equipment. And so we're looking for some donations. Anything helps. Share this with your friends and family. Subscribe to The Weather Show with Ben Crosby. We would certainly appreciate it. That's all I got time for tonight. Time to head over to the library because I don't have Internet. That's another thing the funds could help me with is to get some Internet in the uh, house so I could do these shows a little more often.